Hello guys, this is Daniel again. Uh, welcome back to my channel. Tonight, or today, I'm going to show you how to install that outlet that I told you about yesterday. So I have all my wires prepared. Now, as you can see, I touched the cable. It's totally fine because I actually turned off the power. But what I'm going to do is I want to test this power. And this is what you should do also. So you want to get your tester. It doesn't matter what kind you set it on voltage and then you're gonna test your power now um, I have two cables in here two black wires in here one of them is gonna be always hot and the other one is gonna be hot only when the switch is on because I want to install the disposal right here and then I want the power on all the time to the dishwasher and then the one on the switch is gonna be at the disposal anyway so let's uh, test the power um, first thing, we want to strip this guy, I want to test the power on the neutral uh, and then on the ground also. So, first thing first, you're going to place your lead on the ground and then the other one on neutral, on, I'm sorry, on the hot. So you see there's nothing here, this uh, LED will come out if it's hot, nothing here, nothing here, nothing here nothing here so we are safe to work right now so this is what I'm going to do I'm gonna get a, a, a receptacle and I'm gonna show you what you need to do for you to be able to um, switch it from the switch and the same time you have um, hot power all the time so I'll be right back all right so we are back here um, I got my receptacle so this is what we need to do in order to be able to control half by the switch and half is gonna be hot all the time you see that we have a white cable and then a bra I'm sorry, white screw and then a, and a brass screw, and then in between these two right here, there's a um, tab that we need to break off. When we break this off, we disconnect this screw from this screw, and this way we're going to be able to use the top one for the disposal, the bottom one for the dishwasher. Now on the other side, where the neutral is going to be connected we want to keep that in place because we have only one neutral for both of them uh, this way um, now obviously we can take that off and use uh, two different neutrals but in this case we're going to keep it in place because we're going to use only one neutral we have one neutral two hots in the ground so first step is you're going to get a needle nose and you're going to break this guy off right here just by doing this now on the ground side you have the neutral all the time on the other side you have the hot so this tab right here needs to come off and the way to do this you just hold it and this came off so now there's no connection in between those two right there you can see that so we got that done next step is we're gonna strip my position right here is not too good, but anyway, I'm going to try to work. We're going to strip this cable about three quarters of an inch. Just like that. Because it's a 12 gauge, you won't be able to put it inside these holes right here. So you can have to wrap it around the screw. And the way to do this is when you hold this the receptacle like this, the screw turns this way on this side and the screw turns this way on the on the hot side so what we're going to do is ground and, and neutral we're going to turn it down hot we're going to turn them up and i'll show you why so we're going to make these small loops in here just like this and they're going to be turned down now on the hot, we're going to turn these up, one, and the other one, alright, now we have to make sure that, um, actually it doesn't really matter, uh, you just have to know where your switch is, so in this case, I'm going to put the bottom one on the disposal and the top one I'm sorry, the bottom one on the dishwasher, the top one on disposal. So, first thing, I'm going to get my ground, 
and I'm gonna wrap it around the ground wire, just like this. I'm gonna take this gun right here, I'm gonna do that. Second, I'm gonna take my neutral and I'm gonna wrap it around the screw like that. And I wanna tie that down and I wanna tie this this one also done because I don't want anything to stick out. So it's just gonna be like that. Now we're gonna take these guys. So like I said, this is my switch that's gonna go on top. And because the tab is broken and the top screw is disconnected from the bottom, find that down. I'm gonna tie this down. And that's it. Now um, because I have a cabinet here, I have the back here, I actually bought this special box that adjusts. So this is basically what this box looks like. It's about $2 at Home Depot, you can find them. But if you use this kind of box, you don't have to worry about being too far deep. So that's, uh, that's what it's going to look like. So now I'm going to push these cables in, just like this. screw this plug in. Now you can see that the plug, the outlet is a little bit inside this cabinet. Now there's not a problem with that because I have my adjustable box. You see that? So I would recommend you get some of these every time you do your kitchen. And then, I am going to put a cover on it. And now my outlet gets a little bit too out. I'm gonna push this in a little bit, just like this. All right, all right. And I'm gonna screw this in, but I don't have a screwdriver with me. So, thank you guys for watching. This is the process of installing a disposable dishwasher outlet. Tomorrow we're going to come back and I'm going to show you how to install the switch. Well, uh, this is it. Have a good day and leave a comment, subscribe. And uh, don't forget, if you don't feel comfortable doing this, I would recommend you uh, contact your local electrician. Uh, this is it. See you next time. Bye.